Okay, here we go. I've got 10 minutes to show you how to do a benefit ladder or a strategy, the, the kind of groundwork for a strategy for trust pilots. What this is, it actually helps you work out your brand strategy is usually related to your consumer goal, the higher one, what's the problems that they're facing at that consumer goal. Then the functional benefit is usually when people are looking for this kind of information. And then the product feature is usually a sales message down dirty in the weeds. So you want these all to connect up. What are the features of Trustpilot? that reviewers of the site like the most. For those who don't know what a, a benefit letter is, it's probably the most important tool for strategists when you're trying to come up with a strategy. It works for the comms framework, it works for the creative review. The thing is you're building on top based on the features, then you go to the functional benefit and then the emotional benefit. Today, we're using an audience of online course creators and we're going to list out the different features and then get to the functional benefit, then the consumer goals as we kind of go through this. I'm gonna to try to do it in 10 minutes. So here, can you just list them out as one to two words? There we go. Okay, so these are the benefits. Let's just smash them in there. What we'd do is we'd go, what benefit do these have for online owners? Yeah. I've got some other questions here that I use. This is actually for my upcoming workshop that I'm working on. Why are these features important? When are these benefits most important? So they're two questions I probably should have asked first, but let's see what it's come back with. They kind of gone straight on them. I don't like that. I'm going to reverse this question and do this one, which I prefer. Why are these features so important? Here we go. And then I'll keep the four. Okay. Trust, um, oh, and then we'll go, why is this, when is this most important for online business owners? It's kind of a bit of a generic audience. So we're struggling a little bit at the moment, but here we go. It's giving us some moments, which really is helping a little bit and probably sharpen the audience statement a little bit as well. I don't know why it stopped there, but it has. Startup launch, building a positive online. Rep oh, there we go. It's finished. Crisis management, marketing promotion. Okay, let's write a couple of these down. We'll put these into the, just take that whole thing, put it in to the functional benefits. We're going to shorten this up. So what you're trying to do is potentially, and people often say, I don't do enough SaaS examples. So that's why I'm doing or B2B examples, sorry. So that's why I wanna show what this looks like. Okay, then what we're trying to do is work up as we go with this ladder. We usually like have to choose one of these. If you were to choose, this is not what I'd recommend using ChatGPT for. So you should validate with your actual audience because I'm on a 10 minute deadline. I'm going to just do this. Yeah, I think, I think this one is strong too. So the benefit is when launching a new business, building a positive online reputation from the start can help attract initial customers and establish trust of brand. I think this to me is something that we can get into because what happens is when you start off, you don't have a brand, you, you are no brand. So when you've got no brand, something like Trustpilot is really good because it kind of builds your brand. Like when you don't have a brand, when you don't have a brand, then the small few reviews kind of be a temporary solution for that. All right, that's kind of like a bit, the language isn't great, but it's like when you don't have a brand, a small few reviews can help at startup and launch those First few customers are pretty much your brand. First few customers are your brand. Trust and reputation relies on them. Okay, we'd obviously audit this, do a lot more. So a consumer goal, we've got a couple of questions within here that I like to use. 
And then I've also got a ladder, a 24 cheat sheet ladder. I'm going to just whack this one in. What are the benefits symbolic of benefit symbolic of in founders life benefit of their first few customer reviews what are the benefits it's kind of a bit of a weird sentence but i don't even think i think this is lost it like right here i already know what this is i would go for it's like belief in their vision belief in them in them investing days and nights i'm going to try to get to something else but i think that's strong enough for me it's like trust pilot and those first few reviews are kind of like the justification of like oh my god we are we are going to make it one day we're gonna we're gonna get there and getting those reviews and having trust pilot be that source really helps that so what are these symbolic of in their consumers i don't think this is getting to it i can try again let me try again what are the try it one last time founders what are the first customer reviews symbolic of in the life of a founder so you, you're trying to get what are the first few reviews symbolic of you know i think this is not going to get to it i think it doesn't understand the question validation okay cool this was kind of what i was going this symbolized validation of the founder's ideas positive reviews suggest that the product is resonating affirming that the founder's concept has merit at the beginning it's like the beginning of their journey oh that's cool oh this 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 so this is what trust pilot is all about here we go entrepreneur's journey first customer review marks the beginning of a founder's entrepreneurial journey so that's what we'd be talking about on the top of the consumer goal which is the benefit ladder i don't know if you've seen it let me show you a quick benefit ladder here and what this is is it actually helps you work out your brand strategy is usually related to your consumer goal the higher one what's the problems that they're facing at that consumer goal then the functional benefit is usually when people are looking for this kind of information. And then the product feature is usually a sales message down dirty in the weeds. So you want these all to connect up. Here, mark the beginning of the founder's entrepreneurial journey, signify the transition from planning development to actual market presence. Big symbolic step in the journey. They said it way better than me here as a startup and launch. Those first few customers are your brand trust and reputation. So the benefit is it's validation of the product through those reviews. What are the benefits of Trustpilot that help to deliver on this easy interface? Yes, obviously easy way to see your reviews, large user community, trust score and mobile accessibility, I guess, if you've got a mobile product. That is how I would build out the ladder using GPT. Now, I then go and validate that, but you can see how I'm starting to put the benefit ladder together. And that's the 10 minutes, we smashed it.